Thanks for joining us on a brand new episode of 420 Grams. Now, uh, for those of you who've been watching our shows regularly, how long has it been since we've been coming your way talking Indian football pretty much every week? Sometimes we, of course, uh, fall off that track and then you don't see us for three, four months because we're lazy people. But then we always come back on track and we always, always find something or the other to talk about Indian football. I think uh, I was talking to Comrade Siddhant Aini here and he said it's been about three years since we've started the show. And I feel after three years, we've finally been validated. Now, why have we been validated? Cut to the wide cam. Because you see the gentleman on our left and on Siddhan's right. He is the technical director of the All India Football Federation, Mr. Isaac Doru. So, thank you so much for taking our time and joining us on our show. Honestly speaking, even if we don't chat about anything today, we feel like we've had a great show. We're validated. And now we're more than happy to go for another three years and keep on doing the show. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. And... I really appreciate your show. It's, it's a learning process also for me. Thank you, sir. So it's been what, more than uh, close to nine months now? Nine months, uh, 12 days. Uh, <laughs> that's specific. Uh, but then how's it going, sir? Nine months, 12 days? Uh, professionally speaking, is, uh, is a challenge. Hmm. Uh, living in India is nice. I like the country, the people, spirituality. And uh, professionally speaking, is is a challenge because we have a lot of things to to do. The, the system is very complex. The country is very big. Hmm. But uh, I'm very happy that I took that challenge, and hopefully, I can be successful. So then, sir, moving forward, uh, first things first. You you you've got a huge platter in front of you to work on. Uh, what is the one thing that you'd say requires your attention the most moving ahead in the in the short term at least? Yes, thank you for your question. You know, so, uh, before yesterday I got a meeting with same the guys from FIFA. They put the same questions. Mm. And now are you working for them or are you working for for them? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sure, the development of football in India has some priorities. Mm. Uh, every each individual that is working at different stages, they see the priorities, they analyze the priorities differently. Uh, personally, I have three priorities. Hmm. First is the competition, increasing the quality of the competition in the youth level and professional level. The kind of competition we are working with now to see the possibilities, how we can make the league longer, mm. uh, how we can have a league of every each age, from 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 80, 18, because in the structure that we have now, for example, we have a player that is born in 2005, but he will have a league after two years. Mm. In play. And yeah. we need to have that kind of, you know, the synergy between the ages, that is competition. Second is coaching education. And two of them are very related because without competitions, the coaches, they cannot develop. Yeah. A coach is someone who's coaching and the game and training and coaching the game. That if you have five games in a year, it's very difficult yeah. to be a very good coach. And third priority, and this is... Uh, for me, I don't want to say it's the third one, but I really like it and I put a lot of energy. Mm. We call the grassroots, the golden age and the 12. Now with this baby leagues, with children leagues, with this uh, uh, grassroots development project are the three priorities. The main priorities for me as a technical side. Mm. And this, I'm assuming, applies to both boys and girls, men and women uh, right. across, right? Right, right, yeah. right. Uh, especially in the grass grassroots, we don't do a discrimination. Mm -hmm. We want to play together. Everyone plays together. Yes, boys, yeah. girls play, have the game, had uh, had fun. And uh, I saw a few games as a mix. Really, 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 really surprised by the talent of yeah. the girls. Good. And so this is organic talent. You mm. know, I call every time and telling this is a liquid gold. How we this liquid gold create a beautiful jewelries with the coaching, with the competitions. That is our job. In, in a sense, sir, whenever you talk about Indian football, uh, this has been the story. 
that there is a lot of liquid gold in this country. But then as soon as that liquid gold gets into the structure of the country, you tend to lose that. Right. You tend to lose the sheen of that gold. Right. And you, in a sense, you suppose that is the bigger challenge to fix the structure. Right. Because you're talking about grassroots level football, under 12, under 13. They're possibly playing, I think, about 14 games in, in a season. And, and less. And less than that as well. They are playing less. Less than but that. They're successful in doing 14. And they want to create a, you know, a platform or minimum they can have 40. 50 because you progress in the game the mm. game is producing enthusiasm energy progressing investor fun love passion and intelligence of the game mm. so but then how, how do you do that because there is one way of saying from the federation's point of view where you're saying i want a team to play 30 40 games yeah. but then there is the other side of it which is the person who's putting the money into that club who's trying to get the kids together for 30 40 games as opposed to 10 games, his expenses go up. He says, what do I gain from this? And so on. You know? Yes. Um, I think the, the people now that are putting the money in, in the game, especially for youth, they are smart enough. And they said, okay, I put that kind of money for 10 games and in the end I get nothing. nothing yeah. Or I invest, let them develop them. It's up to us to explain the development process. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the state associations play a huge role because they need, we try now to decentralize a little bit, you know, with the games to go to the state association that the kids, they, they need to have games, 20, 30 games at the state level hmm. and then at the national, national level level organized by IFFM, mm -hmm. 10, 12 games. In mm -hmm. total, we give a platform of 40 games. Hmm. That is good. Oh, it's interesting. So, uh, how is that relationship developing between uh, you sitting at the center and the units at the federal level, so the states? Yes. How is the response? Uh, look, now, is, um, cause we, we have been talking about the, the, the priorities in the technical side. But right. <coughs> at the administration side, it's very related with the development of football in India. Mm. We have been creating... Um, state development section inside of technical Wing. department yeah and we have a, a group of staff that mm -hmm. is going now to the every state associations where we try to design a development program for them and leagues for them the problem that we are facing mm. is not a secret because we work together here mm. with honestly mm. and we need to share the reality is that the state associations, they are the people that are working on the honorary day. They yeah. have jobs, they don't have yeah. time. They're yeah. not a exactly. professional organization. Mm. Yeah. And in some extent, they do a fantastic job because they give up the time for their family yeah. to go to, to organize this. league in the weekends to work. And, you know, a two, three person, what they can do in the population that is uh, 50 million. Mm. And with time, I hope, <coughs> Uh, that all the state associations will get uh, professional organizations and they can organize uh, properly the mm. football there. Mm. But you, you reckon there's still time for that because yes. uh, I mean, this is such a huge country. So, yes. I mean, so but, like, if I can just ask a quick follow-up uh, on this, uh, because I, I know that there was a program where FIFA was giving some yes. money to the state associations yeah, yes, to appoint right. a marketing person. Yes, as no, such. we call it a development officer. Development officer. Yes, we, okay. got, we got some funds for FIFA that will finish now in, uh, in June. Mm -hmm. We got 11 development officers in right. 11 states. Yes, yes, they tried there, they organized the leagues, Golden Baby Leagues, coaching education program, schedule for them, leagues, right. competition. Right. And we have seen some progress there. Mm. You know, the, some states are becoming very active with the work of those gentlemen. Right. And now the, the the problem that I'm facing is okay. FIFA is not going to support this. Oh, is that is that well, in your recent meetings with FIFA? Have yeah, you? we know we are begging with this right. with this yeah. project, but it's yeah. not. Uh, uh, and FIFA also yes, but we try to help you. But what you do mm. as a country to help yourself? Mm. True. That's fine. No, that makes are, sense also. FIFA, you know, it should not help only India. Mm -hmm. a lot other of, countries. Know, agree. As well, you know. Yeah. Are, and other countries where sort of Maybe the, that, the federation is not backed by a, uh, you know, because here we have now a very, very wealthy sort of uh, corporation that is a commercial partner for right. the AIFF. So mm -hmm. surely there are some resources that can be 
brought in from there. Yes, but uh, it's a I fair think point, with I guess. The, the, the state associations, they, are, they can do it. Mm. And now we are working. Uh, first, we need to screen the reality in average states. Right. You know? How many fields we have, how many register mm. players we have, mm. how many coaches exist there, A, B, C. And we are in the stage now of screening this, the, the reality. Mm. And just two days, two hours ago, I got the email from another two states. We have 12 states that are screened. We know exactly what we have. And based on that, we try to build up a plan accordingly to see financially how we can, maybe the local government that can support hmm. to create a, a properly a, a professional structure that can run the football in that state because football is not a game is a as a social event is an yeah. education process is a social communication as well so you, you reckon uh, since you brought that up right now you reckon that's an area of the game in this country at least uh, if you talk about the larger scheme of things that is missing the social side of it uh, because if you talk about big footballing countries all over the world, there is always a social angle. There's a class angle. There's a working angle. And that connect brings you to the game. Mm -hmm. As such, you have Calcutta. Uh, you have a bit of Kerala. You have a bit of Goa. And Northeast, of course. But beyond that, you reckon that is the challenge? Because if you really want honest football fans, rather than saying, I want this guy's jersey, but you want someone to be connected with the game from the head on, from the beginning, that is an area you need to really approach. And yes, Robs. Yes, it's, it's a very a good observation. Uh, I'm participating in a lot of international conferences representing uh, India, and all the other directors say, oh, "You are lucky, man! Yeah. 1.3 billion yeah, people. people! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, uh, yes, yeah. yes. I'm lucky. I'm yeah. happy. Yeah. But from 1.3 billion, only 600 million are involved in something in football. There yeah. are states we don't have only one academy. Mm. Yeah." You know, and this mass development of development of football in in the country, I'm sure we get some extent, but uh, not only the federation could participate in that action. I mean, maybe AFC, FIFA, and the local governments local government. and the central government, mm. because as we mentioned. Bringing the people together in the stadium, having that kind of vib vibration or the young kids learn from football, different value that they can use in life, same mm. as leadership, creativity, intelligence, mm. uh, mental toughness, never give up in difficult situations. Uh, we are part of the development of human beings and we need to work together with all the vectors of education in the country. Mm. Uh, so, just moving on now, of course, from uh, yeah. the youth side and moving on to the senior side, in particular, if I may ask you, and we were having a lovely conversation off camera uh, where you were specifying that you need to have that one. And I still remember this from your press conference and probably it's because of your accent. I really, it stayed with me. You said, synchronize the style of play. And the synchronized style of play, uh, what would that be for you? Uh, having spent nine months now in this yes, country, yes. looked at the players. Okay. As, um, look. Every age nation have a playing philosophy, a way that they play, and a way that the fans love the national team to play. All the fans in the world, they want to win. Yeah. Yes? Pretty obvious, yeah. And, but there are countries, they want to win in a different fashion. Mm -hmm. I cannot see <coughs> Spain with... Long ball, kick and run. Yeah, they will try like this. Even they, if they will win, they will get uh, buoyed by the fans. They don't love that, you know. It's based on possession, you know, and dominant play, being in control of the game. And now we are in the faces in India uh, with all the other technical directors from the club, from the youth development, or the head to create a playing philosophy. At least to identify some value how you want to play the game. And after nine months that you mentioned, in the, in the beginning, I said, how I can see that country? You know, for mm. me, it's synchronized. That word, mm. I choose is very careful. Because, you know, in the, in the game, we have two big moments, defense and attack, right? And, of course, transition. But those two moments, mm -hmm. we need to create a synchronization 
in attack and in defense between the 11 players. And be, in attack, we have synchronized 11 players. Mm. Doesn't mean that only the, the three players in attack are attackers. Mm. Yeah. Nowadays, you can see the wing backs, you know, we mm. build bad, the goalkeeper, when he has the ball, he's mm. the first attacker, yes. Mm. We have players synchronizing attack, mm. synchronizing defense. It means if I have the striker, number nine, but without the ball, you are a defender. Mm. Yeah. That means that if you sometimes go to first players, line of defense. Can, yes, yeah. Yeah. yes, exactly. Yeah. And then how you synchronize between these two moments of the game. That I guess that is the transition. Yes, that, the that transition. Is what, yeah, yes. And both ways. Yes, yes. Not the, just transition yes. from defense to yes. attack, but also from back the, again. Uh, yes, we call, you know, in the moment that we lose the ball and yeah. the moment that we regain yeah. the ball. Yeah. 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 And what I insist for you guys, I said synchronized in India, we can do it. I really believe that Indian players, when they come in a group, they respect the value of the group. I haven't seen in a superstar mm -hmm. uh, you know, this mentality. Uh, yeah. mentality. And more than that, I pick up that word and the concept from the dance. You know, the, in the, the best dancer in the world? You are that. In, not in my view, I'm not a specialist in dancer. Our wives wouldn't agree, sir. Mm. They, they, they'll probably think otherwise. <laughs> our wives, our wives no, would no, 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 not us guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not us guys. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I wanted to have some layer yeah, lesson from so you. Good, yeah. You know, uh, last week mm. we got in, in America, American get Thailand the, uh, yeah. the champions. Right. By not following, but my wife, she, you know, she called me. Oh, we won, we won. What we won, you know, was it was a, you know, just the Paris Saint Germain lost, you know, to one. No, 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 no. Yeah, we won. That's what you know. The a dance, a group of dance from India, from Mumbai, yeah. yeah, from a slam, yeah, with the dance, the synchronization of the every each play, every mm. each movement, every each second, every each uh, pounds, every each space, the best in the world. Yeah. And if we have this mentality, if we apply to football, right, and everyone needs to respect, understand the role, that is, you know, synchronized football. So then, so the follow-up would be this, right. that after nine months, and probably I'm a little too early in asking you this question, because to develop a style of play takes time. It doesn't right. happen overnight. But from whatever you've seen of the quality of player that you have in front of you, what would be the right style of play for the Indian national team? Provided they're playing in the Asian Cup on a regular basis. Yes. Uh, first, you know, I don't want to correct you. I think not only the national team, because the national team cannot play a style what is different of the leagues, the Super League or I League that play in the national level. I think the, the playing, playing style or playing philosophy or game model uh, of our football in India that will be loved and appreciated by every by everyone need to be based on possession. Hmm. And more than that, what is that? To be dominant. Because when you have the ball, you are dominant. You are in control of your destiny. Right? Then we need to be very dynamic. In India, you know, people, you are all is a dynamic society. A dynamic human beings. You see what's in the street. You see the, the people, and everything is dynamic. Mm. There's always there's constant movement. Every yeah, there's movement. people are and always without on, movement. Yeah. It's you know, it's a dynamic. I've yeah. been in a lot of country, but I'm feeling here real dynamic. You know, mm. and coming to the game, what's that mean? Being dynamic. You know? Let's say I give you one criteria. Mm. In ninety minutes, <coughs> I've been going in Spain, in Italy, Japan, Premier League. They have actions in yeah. the game over 190 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. And the people are interested in their dynamic. Now in our game, in the national level, if we have 20, 28 actions in 90 minutes, there is not a dynamic game. Yeah. And the, the fans, they are not going to love that. Mm. They are not going to appreciate that. Mm. Maybe they will come once, for the game, because marketing, because friends, but yep. they will not come every again day and again. to watch the, the, the team. And we need to create that playing style, as mentioned. And I think some, some value will be then to, to need to be dominant, you know, based on possession, then to be dynamic, to be very fast. Hmm. Uh, 
when we say fast, it's not only the running fast, mm. thinking, speed of thinking, mm. speed of changing direction, mm. uh, change of tempo, fast, slow, fast, right? Or accelerate, decelerate, yeah. accelerate, yeah. Yeah. right? Well, yeah, also, I suppose, yeah, when to go. Uh, yes, and uh, playing, and to... you know, also fast will be the playing, speed of playing. I mm. explained to you the time split between the first touch mm. and the second touch. Mm. In modern football, I don't want to go more in details. In average, in Europe, a player keeps the, you know, the, the ball 2.2 2 seconds. Mm. In average. Between first and second? No, no, no. On average, on average. In yeah. total. Okay. In you total. have 2.2 seconds. Mm. 90 minutes, <laughs> 60, 80 seconds. Yeah. yeah. But in this 2.2 seconds, this is an eternity. Yeah. And then the, from the first touch to second touch is mm. less than one second. So flash. Or one, yes. Or it should be, yeah. Yes. Tap, tap. Mm. Because then, you know, it's the flow. Mm. Yeah. And we are used with that kind of speed of playing in Europe. The fans, they are used to see that kind of speed. Otherwise, they, they don't come no and watch it. <laughs> and if not, we are in the faces now to we call, you know, mobile playing. Mm. You know, I receive the ball, I give up. Yes, okay. Yeah, okay, after you receive the ball, maybe you go for the coffee. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> With uh, black, with yeah. sugar, you I, know. You know I, I'm not. I'm not joking. So we play uh, on on Sundays. We have a regular uh, game, fixed group of people. Most of mm -hmm. the other, we play six aside uh, here in uh, amateur so Maradona. Amateur, yeah. amateur yeah. Maradona. Oh, great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so exact same conversation I'm having. You're playing uh, the guy who's playing center midfield. He's receiving the ball. He knows he's going to receive the ball. The ball is coming to him. Still, he waits for the ball to come, traps it. Then looks up and thinks about what he's going to do. <laughs> then he tries to do it. By that time, three people are on him. Mm. And that's the end yeah. of the story. You know? That's modern football, you know, <laughs> changing the, the vibe. Like, we say, you know, that if we have that kind, let's say, the, the criteria, the way that we want to play fast mm. between the first and second. Yeah. If all these 11 players, we have the same, same synchronized same, idea. Uh, mm. I know that you are going to release the ball fast. Yeah. I'm going in the space. And in the space. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And, yeah. you know, with this... Uh, uh sometimes I'm watching the Super League, the league there, fantastic play. It's one touch to that. But it's five foreigners sir, as well. I mean, that's my point. Yeah, we yeah, but even those five, they are no, they are not super player. Yeah. Or five or whatever it is, you know. But we need to to create that kind of awareness. Doesn't mean that okay, let's play start to play fast in India because uh, Isaac uh, wants mm. we, you to play. But it's the way that people they love mm. you know, play it, and and especially football is a show, is a passion, is life. Mm. And being in Brazil is a life. Been there, you know, many times, and it's a life. In Europe, it's a life. It's mm. our, you know, social cake, social, you know, sweets. Yeah. The games. We are. If we have a game after three days, we cannot sleep. Mm. We cannot wait to go for the game. Yeah. And in India, also, I was surprised, especially in the I League games. Mm. You go sixty thousand people on yeah. yeah. the game. Then uh, it's that also because the stadium is yeah. now uh, smaller. If the stadium was bigger, there would be hundred thousand people. Uh, also. Yeah, then uh, Mohan Bagan would be happy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, you yeah. know what? And uh, us the people, you know what? We are there in stadium or twenty thousand. And one Indian player has none and a half of a kick. I don't want to say <laughs> name of that <laughs> because you want to create jealousies. Mm. And 20,000 people say, whoa, this now creating that kind of vibration yeah. and Energy. entertainment. That's the football, that's the passion. And that we can, you know, survive as a long term in India. Hmm. If we create that kind, if we add to our playing philosophy, that kind of playing. I seen also uh, the other day, okay, let's say we can say Roy Krishna over kick or oh, he make this bicycle, whoa, even the fans. The other team, you know, yeah. all this vibration should be, you know, part of the 
philosophy of mind. So then I I hate to be the purveyor of bad news or or sort of the purveyor of the man who brings in reality because yeah. uh, you're we're in a country where we're still trying to grow as a nation. My point being, do we really have the luxury of chasing a style of play? Because more often than not, when you're chasing a style of play, it is also conflicting with results. It happens world over, sir. So, as a country, do you suppose we have that luxury? Because we're still trying to maintain a foothold in Asia, trying to qualify regularly for the Asian Cup, mm -hmm. and more often than not, when we're playing teams stronger than us, we might have to adopt Route One football, yeah. bang on the counter, sit back, which might not be the most pleasurable thing for a fan to watch. Yes, and thus, you know, I think. Uh, you will be an excellent president of the club, you know, as <laughs> you put the, the point in the... Of course, in the professional world, is a result. I'm, uh, if I lose a game, I cannot sleep before the game, you know, exciting. Because everything is related to the results. And playing philosophy, it's helping. In which terms? To create a game model and a youth development. We want our youngest, I want you, son, a congratulations for having a new baby Thank you, sir. as well. Thank you, sir. Uh, daughter. Daughter. Mm -hmm. Yes, we want you, daughter, or you, son, to, mm -hmm. to play a game that they can be happy, self expression. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we need to create for them a youth development concept to develop. That we call development, but to develop towards what? We need to give you know, them an objective. Yeah. That's the way that we play. Okay. And playing philosophy is more you know, related to the development of football as a long term. At the short term, we want to win. I'm agreeing with you. You stay in defense. Yes, yeah. there are 90 minutes. We have one counter and win. Yeah. And maybe you can win that game. But if we play 10 times, I guarantee you, scientifically prove or not prove that you are not able to be a winning team. Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes we are lucky, we can win the game in defense, we can go half of uh, the court mm. twice in the 90 minutes, we mm. can win. Yeah. yeah. Good, congratulations. Yeah. But if we play 10 times against the same opposition, we are going to lose eight times. Yeah. And then we want to prepare a team as a nation, we want to have a winning mentality. I prepare you to be able to win from 10 games that we play with them, six or seven, to be dominant. Mm. And that we need to find the, the resources, you know, to develop, to add value to our player, to physicality, to speed of play, to explosive power mm. and technical things, technical skills that could be able to win every game that they are on the field in the battle. Mm. So then, so would you? Sorry, I, huh? sorry, just not. I mean, I don't. Yeah, you just keep bouncing off. Man. Yeah, man. Man. <laughs> we're just talking pure football here. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I like. So Dennis Bergkamp's book is called Stillness and Speed. Well, right? I love that player, sir. Favorite so, player. But the, the just the name of the book, Stillness and Speed at the same time. So fluidity, speed, uh, like the dynamism, all of that, but also patience and like stirta, like uh, you know. So what you're saying about the luxury of time? Do we have the luxury of time? I absolutely think that we do. And there's no other way to develop all of these things other than to take the no, time. I'll, I'll tell you why, because, because the thing is, India so can't. I mean, we want to. Kya ho hai? Because of technology, because of global best practices, because of FIFA's interest in developing India as a strong partner country, we have skipped 30, 40 years in our natural evolution of the game. Just as in other parts of society, also, right? So we went from a country where a large number of people were illiterate to suddenly the largest number of mobile phone users in the world, right, or, or, or subscribers. So one, on day one, you have zero information. And on day overnight, literally, you have all the information in the world in your hand, right. So people, we have to, as a overall society, and football is a part of that, I think, come to terms with like how fast things are developing. And find our own way in that, man. And that will take time. Yes, yes. yes sir. Yes, sorry. You know, I want to, you know, I think both of you, you are right. Yes. We need to have the long term hmm. and the short term. Yeah. What you say is the short term. There is no long term without short term. Yeah. Right? Yeah. As a short term, we have people that put in the money 
in the market, investor, this and that. You play not a good game. Mm. Uh, okay, for the time being, we do have relegation system, right? right? Mm. But in the moment that you have the relegation system, the, you know, the winning, the, the competition, it'll, yeah, it'll go more, yes, yes, and that's the, the especially as the professional side, the, the short term. Mm. Yes, we need to win, prepare your team to win, do everything to, to win, whatever it's your playing philosophy. Stay mm. in defense there, pff, just pump the ball on the kick and run, it's up to you. If you want to win, you know, you, you do it. Yeah. But as a long term, the common sense is showing us you know, in football that you cannot win. You play 10 games, staying only in defense. Yeah. You are not going to go to the World Cup. Mm. Because there is, an, there, is an, there is another team also. It's not, you it's know, not only about what you do, I guess. That we need to create something in the short term to development of the game. That we mm. call football development and development of football. But I'm really agreeing with you at the short term. If there is not successful development of the game. Hmm. So then, sir, would I be right so, in saying so your, your vision, sorry, just your, your long-term yeah. vision, for it to actually be succeed and for it to show as far as results and to coincide with results, yeah. uh, would that be a minimum of 10 years? A minimum of 10 years and we can't expect that from this current national team yeah. because for them, the time is gone to play that kind of football. But the current national no. team is quite young. But not yeah. that young as well. You know what? Uh, I'm really expect, expecting for all the national teams, especially you know the senior men and women. Whatever is the philosophy of playing, the playing style, and the tactical approach, individual, group, team, designed by the coach, we want to win. Dirty win, I will accept. Hmm. Yeah. The dirtier the better. <laughs> yeah. Dirty win, I will accept. <laughs> yeah. Maybe in my heart I will cry a little bit. I will accept. <laughs> yeah, but it, it showcases this thing. Yes, yeah. yes. I will accept, right? But in the long term, and I, I don't want to escape my responsibilities because I'm not looking at uh, to spend 10 years here in India to say, ah, long term, long term. Yeah, I want to yeah. be successful, you know? And it's possible. It's a little bit of luck. Remember our game first thing against Qatar. Mm. Yes, the national team of Qatar. Yeah. I've been the coach in Qatar. I, got, I know them very well as players. And in that game, <coughs> we have been very lucky. Yeah. Agree or not? Of course. Totally agree. We yeah. can totally agree. have three games, three points, mm. and one point. But we've been lucky, and the players, the force, the staff, uh, all the efforts, the tactical strategy. Okay, we have been lucky, you get a point. But who guarantees us that we can be lucky every, every time? time? When they come what? back here. Every time, yeah. But, uh, or, or no, uh, with what's happened with uh, Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Yeah. Suddenly, we had to switch times. Who has been lucky? But, but Bangladesh, we, we were lucky again. <laughs> I don't know, but okay. Yes. <laughs> we were lucky but again against okay, yes, Bangladesh because this, that could have been zero points. I think, you know, that's uh, my, my, my philosophy as well. Uh, as a human being, as a coach, I want the destiny in my hands. Hmm. Yes. yes yeah. The destiny of our team should stay in our hands, not only in the luck. If the luck is helping, it's... Not in the ha only in the hands of God. Yeah. In the legs, in the brain of every each player, and the eleven players with the staff. When we go there, and we are fighting, you know, fighting every each second. We go with a fighting spirit. We you know, are humble, mm. and fighting. Everything is possible. Yeah. Mm. So I think yeah. if you, I mean, this point just quickly that winning losing to me uh, of course because you are there in that seat and it's important for it's one of the criteria by which your job is measured so for you of course the results matter for us as fans to me at least it's it doesn't matter uh, i mean how we lose is also important what you're saying about fighting and all of that stuff yes you yeah. might the, the result is not the most important thing yeah. It's what you do in those 90 minutes. That I, I that appreciate in India, you know, the, the fans, you guys, because you have this holy kind of spirit and to say, yeah, we fight, we do everything and we're losing. Yeah. Yes. For uh, me, I think but some, you appreciate the, the times that when we, we fight. Yeah. It is okay. We yeah, are yeah, giving yeah. everything. If, if we do that. Yes. The time when that. we are critical of the team is only when we f feel that the team but, has not done that. Yes. But and you will see in 10 years, yeah. 
uh, football environment in India is going to change because you'll have relegations. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. You have promotions. Yeah. And you are losing one game. You can go second division. You're losing, you know, 20 million bucks. Yeah. And then he say, we go there, whatever it is, dirty win, mm. whatever, you mm -hmm. know, to have a good result. Mm -hmm. It's centered. You know the the results, but in the same time, is that kind of generosity for the fans? Mm. You know to say, yeah, well, they try, they do a uh, very good. You know yeah. that it's. Uh, um, I think it's uh, one of the most valuable things that I appreciate to the fans. So then, so in the short term, and I'm I'm taking this conversation. Yeah. This is the last question on this conversation, so we can move forward. In the short term, with the team that we have right now. Would you reckon the best suited style of play for the players that we have currently is win the ball, quick passes, transition, make your foray into goal and come back and organize? Yeah. Is that the best way for you? Yes, I think, you know, the now uh, Igor, yes. what he's trying to do and I, I really, really appreciate his courage. We have done now a transition for a previous playing style or yeah. game that in some ways has been successful, yeah. right? Yes, sir. And we switch to another playing style. Hmm. It's for good, it's for bad. We know as a technicians that it's for good because you cannot win, again, be competitive and win an international standard games only staying in defense and bam, hmm. long pass. You cannot, you know, Okay, but then the so quality of the player also takes into account, can they give you what you're looking for? Yes, you know, the, um, the players, they have s skills. It's how we apply the skills. Hmm. Okay. Example, uh, we have Sunil Chetri, right? Yeah. Give him a long ball, ball in the air, and uh, being one against four, yeah, you know. We are going to not use his skills, yeah. yeah, right? And for that, he's very successful now with Bengaluru. He's scoring goals, the crossing, his possession, yeah. space, tagging the ball, you know. And as much as we can produce football, we can progress. And I appreciate Igor because he tried to say, okay, let's, you know, be dominant in the game. Let's have the possession of the game. Let's have a good mobility of the ball, <clears> movement <throat> of the ball, fast the ball, create space and finishing fast. Mm. Of course, we are not successful on that because the league itself is not consistent. Yeah. But that's the way that we... We believe, I believe, make us successful in the future as a winning nation. Not only ambition to participate, or no, no. Now, uh, you know, we will have FC Goa in the Champions League. Yes, sir. Yes. We need there to go to win, not just to be happy. Yeah, we have been there, you know. And then I'm sure in the way they will play, they will try, they will be successful there with a modern... Uh, game hmm. playing style. Fair enough. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to ask since we were all we met at the this launch event for the under seventeen women's World Cup mm. uh, that's going to happen in India in a few months' time. Uh, since you are the technical director of all of India's national, uh, not just the national team but all of Indian football, uh, you're the right. Uh, we, I suppose we could ask you questions. We should ask you questions about everything. <laughs> <laughs> Please go ahead. <laughs> but, but I don't know if we have, we have six hours. Uh, so the under seventeen women's team, how is that shaping up? Uh, where, what kind of talent pool does India have? Because none of us really know much about. Uh, it's a small uh, pool at, at the moment, and it's a pool that you are trying to develop. So just tell us a little bit about the team. So, um, would you agree that these are extraordinary circumstances under which a team for a World Cup is being prepared? Mm. Right. As opposed to what happens in world football. Mm. You developed yes. a camp of 40, 50 players. Mm. Then you're choosing the best players for a World Cup. Mm. So you're same as already going the, against the yeah. grain. Same as it was for the yes. boys. Same as it was for the boys. Yes. Well, yes. Yes. As you know, it's an unnatural environment. Yeah. To be uh, very honest. Uh, but now with the help of the government, we try to create all over the country, we have now in 11 countries, in 11 states, a league for the girls, you know, 
and yeah. 17 from the leagues. They can play more games and will pick up also the best player from the mm. leagues. Mm. You know. But all the members that are now with the national team, previously they have been with under 15, you know, with the SAF champion. They have some kind of experience. We bring a new uh, technical staff, yeah. as experience, professionals, specific staff, mm. academic, very good. Mm -hmm. And they will try to maximize all the results from that group. Mm. Of course, if we compare with all the other nations in Asia, is Korea's four times mm. world champion, the mm. 17, always Japan. Japan, it's world champion, compare. world champions. We cannot compare. Yeah. And we can see some slight progress with the evolution of our team. Mm. Um, by the way, yesterday they, they won against my uh, mother country, country. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> zero. And yeah. there are some progress there, you know. Okay. But we we need to accept who we are. Hmm. And when we go there in the 90 minutes, as you mentioned, every each player, we should not have the head down. Yeah. We know who we are, we know our uh, strength points, weakness points. We know that we don't have uh, a lot of games. Mm. But when we go there in the field, we I want to transform this field in a battlefield. At least after the game, whatever will be the results, yeah. everyone said, our boys and girls fight, yeah. battle for it. And that uh, will make me proud. Mm. When we go, we know with respect to our opponents, yeah, they are better than this and that and that. Mm. I think we are losing 20% yeah. of our confidence. Go there, fight, and we see if the opponent, they are far better. Well, sure, they are going to win. Yeah. But at least we respect the spirit of the game. Yeah. We give them a good fight. Fair enough. And I think the ingredients are here with uh, uh, our girls. I saw some talented one. I've seen also the national team's uh, women's. We got good talent in, in the final uh, of the IWL. Mm -hmm. Amazing player. Yeah. You saw the Nepalese player, sir, the striker for Gokulam? Yeah. The, the, the girl the with the short hair? Sabitra. Yeah. She uh, plays yes. for Nepal. Yeah, Samba. Yeah. Yeah. Samba. Yes, yes, yeah. Samba. yes. They know her. Look like a solid player, sir. Uh, but we have somebody else that I really like the more. Okay. And okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't tell you the I name. I won't ask you the name. No, yeah. no, no, it's okay, but yeah. I appreciate the skill. It's Grace. Mm, yeah. Grace. Grace, yeah, okay, okay. You know, and I think uh, more players, they will follow the, the steps of Bala to go abroad to yeah. that kind yeah. of experience okay. because the skill is there. And, mm. uh, and, uh, the gap also is much lesser in women's football as far as when you compare with the world. Right. As right. opposed to the men's right. game. Right, yeah. right. Because the tradition, the games, the uh, development of the games for women is, is different in an average country. But mm. I think personally, I really believe that uh, in women's, we have the talent, we have the ingredients to be one of the leading nations in, uh, in, in, uh, in uh, Asia. Asia, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Fair point. You know, that kind of, um, we call coordination movement, mm. locomotor movement, mm. reaction movement. Uh, naturally, we have it here. Yeah. Yeah. Example, in Japan, I was working well, physically in Physicality also, I We think, need, like, what in the United States, we need to teach, we need to spend yeah, yeah. times, precious time of our training session to work on the coordinations. Mm. And I see a seven years old or a 10 years old or 11 years old a girl. Mm. Coordinating by nature, yeah, because you know, barefoot, yeah, working, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. doing activities, dynamic. And mm -hmm. I think we have the talent, but the talent without work, without very hard work, without a concept, mm -hmm. is as you mentioned, a liquid gold that is going somewhere else, it's being lost down right. the drain, yeah, right, right, right. Uh, so, just before we end this, yes. uh, this is one hot topic that's been going on in Indian football for a while. Uh, a, it's on the structure of the league, mm. which is now finally we're seeing relegation promotion will be implemented in a couple of years. If I were to ask you, and you, now you've seen the structure, you've seen the clubs 
that have money you've seen clubs that don't have money and when you want to put them all together it could also po- cause a problem because then you might have someone who's not able to compete with someone with the kind of financial muscle the other clubs would bring what for you would be the ideal structure for a league top league and how many teams would you want to see in it in total okay i will start with the it's uh, my personal i never yeah. discuss with anyone about it and But also nobody asked me what i'm really thinking you are the first person and you and uh, probably my wife also <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you mm-hmm. know i think at this scale at the short term in the next 10 years we mm. need to have 18 20 teams by by 10 years we need to have 20 for the main league okay is relegations or playoff mm. play on system mm. right mm-hmm. then second divisions and third divisions yeah uh depends on how financially the country will go maybe the third division will be in the state mm. level yeah yes or the second division will be by region uh, regions yeah. same as in us yeah. western yeah. conference eastern mm. conference something like this but mm. i now i see the 20 1820 teams 1820 teams so but do you reckon with with i mean how does that happen because a you've got someone here who's spending 30 cr that you know you got someone who's probably spending 3 cr yes uh this could be uh in an organization of professional league you know there are uh, license licensing criteria you go to <coughs> premier league you cannot uh, uh compare Manchester City budget with uh, Leicester or yes with Everton right mm. always there will be financial imbalances all over the world the, that exist but doesn't mean that uh financially a weak team cannot win against a strong team mm-hmm. it's in the ways again the, the the intelligence the staff how you build the academies also and how you uh, do the scouting of the players the coaches what's happened a few years back with Leicester who was supposed to Leicester would be you know but those imbalances they will be there and that is the romance of the sport as well yes. yeah and what happens in, we talk about Leicester and, but look, what happens in the i league every year you know a small club from Mysore from uh mm. Punjab from wherever comes in and beats the Mohan Bagans and the East Bengals that have all the relatively right it's yeah. comparative and you can uh, you know now the um, the environment in India is in the face of getting birth mm-hmm. if if you accept my word is uh four months pregnant pregnant woman hmm you okay. know we don't know if it be a baby will be a girl a vomiting a headache but we are evolving yeah. right we have a road map good not good could be better i accept everything but we have one yeah and as much as we have one you know we know in the time what we we'll do and uh imbalances financially would be hmm. but the, the the most important thing would be the the supporting the supporters and i believe that we can have in one city same as in because india is very huge in, you know two teams five teams look in madrid <laughs> yeah you know london if you see yeah. you know, madrid atletico madrid in real hmm. in the history of those two clubs how they get born how this evolution yeah manchester city and manchester united mm-hmm. and you see was by the social social development of the people mm-hmm. they choose example the middle class you know they go with atletico de madrid yeah mm-hmm. middle class for baby mm-hmm. real madrid a little bit uh, royalist this this elite they go there. Mm-hmm. and the, the funds they choose yeah. yes and as much will we create this diversity the fans they are going to choose mm. i don't think that will be some transition from the fans from one club to another club mm. definitely yeah. look what's happened now in um, super league we have the youngest generation crazy about super league they're mm. going watching the game they look you know and those the youngest generation on the super league because mm. well organized 
different playing style. Mm. And the gen my generations are more an Indian league because mm. they know the history, they know yeah. the tradition. And for me, it's quite interesting to see this match of the, between the generations, mm -hmm. how it grow the football. Yeah. And we have the ingredients here. Uh, this uh, the honor of the Super League. The FSDL do a f fantastic job. The owners of the I leagues they are struggling financially. Yeah. I know. I talk with them, but we are in the process. As <coughs> I mentioned, we are like say four or five months pregnant, woman, and I'm sure that we'll have a, a beautiful baby that will be champions once in Asia. Uh, so fi final question yes, from, from my end. Sorry, I'm, I'm just. <laughs> The raw materials for mm. what you want to develop yes. are your players. Uh, and since you've been so forthright with us on, on everything, uh, this rule of having five foreigners in the playing 11, how long do you see it lasting? Because then it could start impacting the development of the Indian player, yes. for which, of course, you guys are all here. Yeah, so, if I will have the, uh, the power to decide, I will change it with due respect to the foreigners. I'm a foreigner in the country as well. Yeah. And the fans, they want to see a high level of performance, show performance, yes. But taking in consideration the reality of the country, we got now, you know, 92, 93 accredited academies. Hmm. There are criteria to accredit the academy, you know. Those criteria are not built in India, but they come from international standard. We have 93 academies that are playing leagues, have coaches, have concepts, have fields, have balls, have everything. Hmm. And we have another 500 academies, non-accredited. It's very amateurs. People have private academies they are playing. There is a massive pool of people that are playing, playing. football. Yeah. And I think that... Three plus one is Asian, yeah. the, uh, the right step. Mm -hmm. And if you ask me from when, when we start this, mm. from last year. Mm. <laughs> because we Bang on, because they're playing Champions League next season and they have to play three plus one. Yeah. No? Yes. How do you manage then? And okay, uh, more than that. You know, we now... Everything, you know, we have done mistakes, I don't know. I do mistakes every day. Yeah. Every human. It's human. You know, I do a lot of mistakes in the world because everyone is complaining. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> but I learn from them my mistakes. Yeah. And we got the role of six foreigners, right? Yeah. In, a, in, a, in your roster, yeah. six. Yeah. Only yeah. five are playing. Five mm -hmm. are playing, yeah. Then you bring someone that you are going to kill him mentally because... He is not going to play. Really? He doesn't have any opportunity to play. Only the injury or the red card. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. rules for me. It's tricky. I'm not uh, because I'm gonna kill mentally the foreign players, mm. right? Mm. And the uh, first second, and I think we have the resources, and I'm very grateful to this uh, Super League and uh, some clubs in I League, because especially this season seen a lot of young players Indian players yeah. yes a lot of you know uh, when I came ah oh, Super League yeah, all players 35 27 Del Piero yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mutu so yeah, yeah yeah many yes and Anelka as well you know and now I see 17 18 19 years old and I would like to say as a as a father as a Technical person, thank you to the coaches, to mm. the clubs, to have that vision. Yeah. And to see that the future of India is okay. Bring the youngest yeah, blood there. Yeah. You create motivation and competitiveness. Yeah. Because the youngest one they, they want to, you know, to be there on the on the game. And and you can see there how they progress. You say I don't want to repeat again the name, but uh, seen as um Jamshed Pur, a boy, 17 years old, a left legger. Yeah. Playing. Who was expecting that we would have or 18 years old? Or yeah. you know, that competitiveness inside the team create and develop the players. Mm. Look, it's a Farouk or so they're coming from yep. you know, there is competitiveness there, yeah. you know, and they are playing, they are growing. And for that I say for me it's three plus one. Mm. Is the right way for yes, the, the, the right way. And maybe to develop more. I'll be maybe the second division or a league to be, you know, under 19 or under 21 rules. Maybe. Two two players coming in from that. Place. Yes, or, you know, something to make a rule. But that depends also 
the owners how they want to uh, to have it or okay. not. But I think we are there. Hmm. We are in the process. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we have positive results that can motivate all the players, the Everyone. staff, yeah. stakeholders. The, yeah. Okay, stake, uh, stakeholders, fans. let's say the fans, you know, to, to believe that we can play yeah. uh, football in India because it's not new. You played, you know, 50 years ago, 40 years ago. Yes. You played and it uh, was just by accident of history of social development that yeah. football going uh, down would not mm -hmm. exist. But yeah. nowadays the youngest one, they are playing and the eight and the nine playing. And sometimes, you know, really amaze me because when, when I'm living behind my apartment is the park. Mm -hmm. Six o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Play, top, top, ball, ball, tip, <laughs> tip. Oh, they make me say, oh, I'm dreaming or what? You yeah. know, I'm going out, they are playing. Or at the 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock with a little bit that we don't light. have the, you know, the huge lights, it's yeah. more light, they put there and play. Yeah. That is, the, the passion is there. It make me think about Brazil, it's, it's, it's the same passion when the players playing, you know, barefoot, mm -hmm. when you go on the yeah. beach in Mumbai, are playing. That it's the passion is there. We need to work together. That my also my a little bit of surprise in India because we need to work together. Hmm. The the ego is huge in India. Same as in my mother country in Romania. Yeah, it's it seems that we are brotherhood. You know between the two countries, <laughs> the, the ego is there. Yeah, uh, too much, too much. And, I, I'm someone that I really like to work in a group, mm. to share, you know, and to find the idea together. And uh, But this, you know, whatever it is, too much is not good for life, it's mm. not good for progressing. Ego is good, but too much ego, no good. It's uh, critical. We need to clean this and bring the people together. Let's play, let, you know, and hop and dream. Cool. Uh, so I think that that brings us to the end of this conversation. We take our cue from those boys because one of them they slept. The cricket oh, yeah, loving, the cricket loving boys. <laughs> they slept. One, yeah. one or two have left, I think. <laughs> no. uh, but sir, uh, really once again, uh, we're it so grateful really... and thankful. No, thank you, thank for you, you for having me. And uh, you know, needless to to say that I really appreciate you showing for thank that. You so much, I decided to uh, to come because I know you are part of football development and all your. Uh, uh, critics that you have it are positive we need to take it positive because we are same players in you know in the football development mm. you know we are maybe on the pitch you are off the pitch and we need to work together and to learn from each other team sport yeah absolutely yeah. so and we hope uh, you do come again sometime yes. uh, whenever uh, Time after permits. the baby will get born and in nine yeah. months he's yeah. still perfect, uh, you know, perfect to, sir to work in the, Th that'll yes, be the perfect yes. end to the story yes thank you, thank uh, you very so much. once again thank you so much thank and you. Uh, thank we you. hope you enjoyed this episode of 420 grams as always when we're talking pure football we do not take a look at how long the conversation <laughs> is going hope you enjoyed it goodbye thank you